The first week of the IPL has been so interesting, from super overs to centuries. Starting off um, with the points table, um, you have Delhi Capitals who are at the top. They've got two wins in two games, Kings 11 Punjab and CSK. The match against Kings 11 Punjab did go into a super over and it was such a close match. Um, Delhi absolutely aced that match under pressure in the last over um, where Punjab needed one from three. They somehow managed to bowl three dot balls. Um, and then the win against CSK, very good win um, there. A good performance from Prithvi Shaw. So you've got the top order performing. Um, and yeah, the bowlers, they did really well um, with Kagiso Rabada. He bowled um, well at the death. Um, so yeah, great performance from them. Um, and uh, yeah, the only thing I can see that they need to improve on would would really be, I guess, uh, mostly their batting order. Where do you want Shimron Hetmeyer to bat? Does he come in at three? Does he come in at five, four? Or is he just a floater in the side? So um, that's the only thing that um, Delhi Capitals have to figure out as of now. Number two on the points table is Kings Eleven Punjab. They lost their opening game against the Delhi Capitals, which went to the Super Over. But they won against RCB as their captain leading from the front, KL Rahul, hit a century, a brilliant century, um, and they absolutely just toppled over RCB, um, who, well, they, RCB's strength is their batting, and really bowling RCB out for 109, so great performance from Kings Eleven Punjab. Mohamed Shami bowled very well, he's bowled well in both games. Um, Punjab, I think they need to work on their middle order, who bats where, you've got Sarfaraz Khan in there, Glenn Maxwell, um, James Nisham. So, like, who bats where? You really need to figure that out in that middle order. Also, would you bring back back Chris Gale into the side and have Mayank Agarwal, who's been in good form, at least for the first game, does he bat at three? So, just need to figure out that for Kings Eleven Punjab. At number three on the points table, you have the four-time champions, the Mumbai Indians, who lost their opening game against CSK. Um, uh, but came back strongly, won against KKR. Um, so yeah, the, uh, their bowling is doing well. Um, and with their batting, the only question I can see is uh, with Saurabh Tiwari playing well, how does Ishan Kishan come back into the side? Because Ishan Kishan had a very good IPL 2019, and so he should be in the playing 11. So how do you put in both Saurabh Tiwari and Ishan Kishan into your playing 11. So that's what the Mumbai Indians need to figure out. Next, you have the Rajasthan Royals. They played one game against CSK and won that. So that's why they are in fourth. Um, at the end uh, at the end of that um, that innings, they, we saw some good batting from Jofra Archer um, and also an excellent partnership between Sanju Samson and Steve Smith. Sanju Samson playing some good shots, Steve Smith anchoring that innings. Um, so a great performance from the Rajasthan Royals. At number five, you have CSK. Um, and they won their opening game against the Mumbai Indians um, and then lost the next two games against the Rajasthan Royals and the Delhi Capitals. In the two games they lost, they needed 100-120 from the last 8-10 to 10 overs. Um, and they weren't able to chase that down. I think the main thing they need to uh, focus on is their opening partnerships because they are not getting good starts. And you need to have a good start when you're chasing targets around 200, which they will have to chase. They had to chase them in the game against Rajasthan and Delhi. Um, so you really need those good opening partnerships. So they still need to figure out who's going to open. Probably Murli Vijay won't be opening. Um, so, uh, yeah, still need to figure that out for CSK. Um, number six is RCB. They won their opening game against SRH, but then lost against Punjab. In that game against SRH, they came back really strongly. Um, I mean, SRH, they were on top. And somehow, the RCB bowling attack managed to, to pull off a victory, a stunning victory. Um, RCB need to work on their death bowling. Uh, it hasn't been good. Um, their spinners are bowling well with Jahel and Washington Sundar. 
um, but their desk bowling is a big concern. Um, actually, the whole fast bowling is a big concern as it has been. Um, so they need to work on that. Um, that's RCB. And that number seven, you have SR Edge who lost against RCB. That was the only game they played. Um, and they were actually going really steady. They had eight wickets in hand and needing 45 from 30. But somehow they managed to lose that game. So, uh, yeah, they really need to work on that batting stability. Maybe bring in Kane Williamson at three or four to add that experience in the middle order so that you don't have collapses like these happening again. Um, and then at the bottom of the table right now is KKR, who played one game, which was against the Mumbai Indians, and they lost that. Uh, KKR need to work on who bats where in their middle order because you've got Dinesh Karthik, so either you bat him at 3 or you play Nitesh Rana at 3. Um, actually, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you've got Nitesh Rana, Dinesh Karthik, Ian Morgan, and Andre Russell. So you need to really figure out who bats where for KKR. Um, so yeah, that is the points table for um, the first week, at the end of the first week. Um, and another thing that I actually noticed was there have, there have been so many collapses in this first week. Um, look at the first game. Mumbai, 121 for 3, eventually made 156 for 9. Or in the second game, Punjab, 30 for 0 to 35 for 4. Um, SRH, as I said, 121 for 2 to 153 all out. So all the teams, all of them have collapsed at some point and they really need to work on that. Building stable partnerships. Because if you look at the teams, that's something that's really needed. You can't just have one 100-run partnership before or after, and then you just have lots of collapses. You need to have two or three good 50-run partnerships that will then take you through to a good total or um, help you chase down target. So all the teams, I think, really need to work on building those partnerships um, and really, uh, really just, yeah, just building, just having those partnerships That'll help you win the game. That'll eventually put pressure on the opposition to get those wickets. And that will that will be what will help you win the game. So that's what every team needs. Um, so yeah, week one of the IPL. It's been so exciting. We saw centuries, super overs, close games. I mean, you name it. So week one of the IPL has been really amazing. Um, and make sure you keep watching because... The way week one turned out, we will have an excellent IPL coming up in the following week. So make sure you keep watching. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. See you later.